<laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Ruby. Watch out, Asim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. James, that's an interesting choice. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? I wonder if he'd take it off to, uh... You know what? Never mind. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no! I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like, like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam! That's how a game dies. A sim! You've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers? Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. 
Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? Looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. Now I'm thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. I always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so fast food. Damn, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Barbed wire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. We've all got our reasons. Why would I go anywhere else if you're here? I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that volunteer desk. 
I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Right. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. Yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> Weren't you listening? I said good with other people. Well, maybe not that part. <laughs> I'll try to take the rest as a compliment. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. That's mine. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good one for you. Wish everyone would have seen all that sooner. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. We're friends. Good ones. It's good to have a friend again. Someone I can really trust. So do we gotta, like, make friendship bracelets or something? I don't think it's official until we do. Ugh, I hate arts and crafts. Bye! Clam, you out here? Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah.
The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. No. Come on, kiddo. Quit asking. Because I would swear about his stupid face. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three... Four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. No, AJ. He's too dangerous. But... No buts. Hmm. <sighs> There's twelve of them now. But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. AJ, I said no. Come on. You won't always be able to tell me no. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't mean it. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy! So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. No matter what happens, look out! Ah, oh, shit! Yes, fuck! Yes, fuck. Yes, fuck. Yes, fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! I'll be all right. <laughs> you don't have much time. Go!
okay. Just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance! Where's our new recruit? They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And take me! You want soldiers? Fine! Take me with you! But leave everyone else. You'd do that? You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you almost gave up just now? Handed yourself over to save your friends? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others... I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can. I just want them back. Please. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home.
kill that one, the girl. Little chat, you and me, alone. Ah! Fuck it, bitch! Clem, I can't. Stay back! Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid, and still alive. Well, let a lot of folks die to get you here. Should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family.
I'm sorry for trusting her. <laughs> they took them. Sim and Omar and... God damn it, Lewis! I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, uh, definitely an um, interesting episode, um, and in case anybody's wondering why I chose uh, B over uh, Luis instead, uh, it's because my idea of what Clementine needs is a great friend, and I think V represents a great friend, um, and as you know, some ladies would say, chicks before dicks, so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I think that's what Clementine needs, she doesn't need anything romantic right now because she already has too much responsibility to take care of AJ. So a great friend, somebody who has her back through thick and thin. I think that's what Vi represents because she supported uh, Clem from the beginning and didn't waver. Lewis didn't support her at first, but then came around, uh, which is good. He came around, but you know V was there all along. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my bad choices.